45 years ago, a pageant, a decision, and a belief changed the course of my life and the lives of so many that I love. Tonight, I want to take you on a little journey back to 1979 when my sister Janice competed for and won the title of Miss South Carolina USA and then competed on the Miss USA stage. Soon thereafter, Frank Sweeney, a true visionary in the world of pageantry, was the vice president of Miss Universe and took a chance on a very young 20-something-year-old and her sisters. That year, 1980, we produced our first Miss South Carolina USA pageant in the Historical Garden Theater, not far from where we are now, on King Street in downtown Charleston. That cold night in February, a young woman named Sean Weatherly won that title. Eight months later, my first son was born, and little did we know then that he would, years later, become the best business partner and friend I could have ever dreamed of. But I remember so very well going to Biloxi, Mississippi, where I knew absolutely no one, and watched that young woman from Sumter win the title of Miss USA. At that time, my husband David was in dental school, and we weren't able to fly to Seoul, Korea, but instead sat in the living room of dear friends who are here with us tonight, to watch her life change forever when she became Miss Universe. This 45-year journey has been like no other, and I am forever grateful for the gift of working with what has been an iconic brand since 1952. But all good things come to an end. My mentor and friend, Marilyn Seitz, a former Miss USA director, always told me, you will know when the time is right to leave. On August the 8th, 2023, I knew that day had arrived, but being a family of integrity and commitment, Ryan and I quietly fought for what we believed in and for the right to fulfill the commitment to the young women that we had promised a 2024 pageant. But a life's passion should never be a battle. We continue to accept young women to be on our RPM stage this year because we believe in them in the pursuit of their dreams through pageantry. And regardless of what state or national pageant they compete in, know that there is magic in the crown when worn with a humble heart. We stand by them all as we will our new title holders that went this evening, taking them to the Miss USA and Miss Teen USA pageant for the very last time. When drama, rumors, and poor choices take away foresight, it's time to control your own destiny or someone else will. True leadership is measured by the extent to which a leader can cultivate a culture of trust, accountability, and mutual respect. Nelson Mandela said, if you want the cooperation of humans around you, you must make them feel they are important. And you do that by being genuine and humble. It is so easy to break down and destroy. The heroes are those who make peace and build. I choose that path. I have so many people to thank that have played a part in the RPM name. First, of course, are my two sisters. Janice, to whom the idea of running a state pageant would have never been thought of had she not been the woman she is. And my sister, Anne, who has been with me every step of the way, loving and supporting me and all of the title holders she has cared for, mentored, and taught. Our precious moon, whom everyone loved and respected, was our judge's chairman. She was a woman of immense faith, compassion, honesty, and integrity, and expected nothing less from our judges. My husband, David, whom when I went to him about expanding our company to Louisiana before fax machines or even cell phones, told me to go for it, and carried the weight at home when I was unavailable and always told me he was proud of me. My children, Ryan, Paul, and Morgan, for whom RPM was the name, they sacrificed and continued to support and love me when I was busy traveling, working day and night, and giving more to the girls sometimes than to them. And thank you, Morgan, for bringing us Henry, the best son-in-law we could ask for. And Paul, you have given us so much with Brittany, who worked alongside of us while in nursing school, and for blessing us with our precious Tucker and Caroline Campbell. The many judges that may not have known much about pageantry, but as soon as they met and talked with our contestants, their opinions changed by seeing the hard work and dedication and life-changing abilities that a healthy competition brings. The many chaperones that gave their time and cared for these women and guided them through pageant weekends. The RPM team members that worked with us in the office and helped us build a 45-year legacy, but we saved the best for last. Jerry Lynn Ridgway, you have kept me on track and laughing for the last nine years. All of the sponsors that have supported us, but more importantly, our title holders. You have given me more than I could have ever given you. Watching your successes after pageants while growing and raising your families has been the biggest gift. 
AK and Adam, thank you for being my safe space to go to when I need advice or a laugh, a hug, or just a daydream. Randy and Kim, I have no words. You have been my rocks this year, and our friendship will take us back to Napa time and time again. Don, my dearest friend in the world, that I've actually traveled the world with and collaborated on many, many opening numbers and themes and stage designs. I will forever treasure those memories and our friendship. Tim, whose voice, faith, and compassion made a tremendous difference in our productions and the lives of so many who have competed on our stages. Now to my colleagues, because of our collective years of building such an iconic brand, celebrating all that it has stood for, and for the hundreds of success stories lived out by the women who benefit from its existence, Think long and hard and control your own futures and just know, although we have been promised another year, I will support you in whatever decisions you make. Knowing what it takes to be a good director, I respect you and why you do this job. It is a labor of love and I love you for it. Thanks for the memories. To the presidents of the Miss Universe organization that I have worked under who respected us in our decisions to produce a first class event and take care of our title holders, I hope we made you proud. But more recently, Paula Shugard, who led us with integrity and compassion while respecting us and never losing sight of what was right and knowing the importance of a team. While the RPM legacy was never about having the most national winners, I do feel proud of the fact that after one Miss Universe, seven Miss USAs, four Miss Teen USAs, and one Miss World, our record stands on its own and our place in history is secure. To the next directors of our RPM states, be careful what you are willing to pay for your seat at this table. Truth honesty and integrity is invaluable. Tonight we will crown four deserving title holders which marks 250 for RPM Productions and it is our sincere hope and prayer for you that the magic that comes with your hard work, believing in yourselves, and what you have to offer your communities can change not only your life but those around you. You will have the support of everyone standing on this stage tonight and we can't wait to see where this pageant journey takes you. Not knowing what the future holds can inspire us to live more fully in the present, appreciating each moment as it comes. Just know that this is not my final chapter and I look forward to what is next. For the last time, signing off, Paula Miles, Miss USA State Director.